Hi everyone, myself Uday Kumar. I'm working as a performance test engineer in one of the organization. In this video, I'm going to explain about time functions in Gmeter. So whenever we are doing any scripting activities, sometimes there is a possibility to do the correlation for date and times. Okay, so uh, sometimes we may not find the dates, accurate dates in our response data. So in order to overcome that, so Jmeter has uh, time functions. Uh, so by using them, we can uh, use it in our scripting activities. So in order to do that, so we should have uh, uh, some elements. Let me explain them. Go to config elements and use user defined variable. I, I will explain the, why I'm using this. And I will add one more uh, sampler called debug sampler. And then view results tree. Okay. So first suppose, uh, so user defined variable here, I am using uh, a JMeter function for uh, date over here, and I'll create a variable for, for it. So whatever the date is passing to that variable should be displayed in debug sampler for which I have added debug sampler. So let me take uh, an example. So go to the function helper dialog box over here. So first, first, let me go to the time function. See, the, the, there is a time function. So for example, uh, you have to pass uh, the current time uh, in your scripts. So you can, you, instead of giving manually, for example, if you're giving manually the today date 31, 8, 20, 23. So uh, when you're running the script tomorrow, so it may not work properly. So the date should be um, whatever uh, the date you are running on. So that the date should be taken uh, on that day only. For example, so here, um, DD, M, and Y, 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 C here. The date is 31, 8, 2023. So now you can use this function over here. So P underscore something date. Let me keep this variable name. Okay, let me run. Okay. In response data, you can see P underscore date is 31, 8, 2023. So you can use this variable or maybe this function in your uh, request body wherever the date is passing so in a so that it will take current date for example if you are running the script tomorrow that uh, tomorrow's date will be taken and if you are running the script maybe after 10 days that after 10 days date will be taken so that is the use of this uh, function and also uh, we can use this function in different ways as well for example if your date format is like uh, see for example, see DD and your month is like three digit one, then you can use this three digit and see 31 August instead of eight digit eight, here it is taking alphabet that is August. So you can copy that variable and paste in your request body so that your request body will be uh, going with the, the date format which you are looking for. See. 31 August 2023. This is the uh, use of this function, time function. So let me go with another function called time shift function. So go to the helper uh, function dialog box and uh, open the time shift function, time and time shift function. For example, so in your scripts, so uh, while you are placing an order, so for example, in your request body, uh, some date is getting generated. That is um, advanced date. For example, today is 31st. Look, like it is taking advanced date, maybe five advanced, like uh, addition of the current date, maybe five days addition to the current date. So you cannot find that value in your, uh, I mean, response data. You cannot correlate that kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, functionality. So uh, in order to overcome that, what you have to do is like this time, you can use this time shift function. For example, uh, the parameter is DD, MMM. Okay. So, and YYY. Okay. So you need to add 10 days to the current date. P means plus 10, whatever days you want to add 10 days. So let me generate this. Let's see, today is 31st. It is adding 10 days to the current date. So just place this over here 
and and run it. Clear and run. See here you can see p underscore ten September twenty twenty three. So you can uh, do whatever the dates you want to add. For example, I want to add uh, two days to the current date. So just keep two and then clear and run. See today is thirty one and it is adding two days to the current date. So like this, uh, we can use these kind of time functions. So if you have any queries or any doubts regarding the time functions, or if you need any other kind of input uh, of time, so or date, so you can just feel free to comment so that I can help. Thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.